Shalabaka Prada Katabala Daba. Make sure you are praying. Kam Prada Kabala Daba Shata Paradaba. Lam Brete Kaparada Baladaba Kata Prada Kashele Balada. Kam Posa Tabala Kapris Kabala Karia Dabala Daba. Why do people end up becoming failures in life? I asked the Lord this question and I was shocked. He gave me only two reasons. Why do people end up becoming failures in life? Someone who was destined to be a great apostle, a great prophet, a great teacher, a great evangelist. How come a man can have such a beautiful, predetermined destiny and not even live it? Do you realize that there was a prophetic grace upon Jacob? He never used it. He never worked with it. It was until he was at the point of death, he began to bless his children. And you hear the prophecy that came out of him. This was, this was a grace and an unction that he would have used in his youth. Hmm. Hallelujah. Have you not heard of people who at age 80 or 70, they finally give their heart to the Lord. And within the remaining time, they begin to put pressure on destiny listen let me tell you something brothers and sisters write this scripture down and never forget it for the rest of your life lamentations 327 he said it is good that a man bear his yoke in his youth it is good that a man bear his yoke in other words the bible says the glory of the young man is his strength pay the price now don't pay the price when you do not have strength again. Why people, including Christians, end up becoming failures in life? Number one, I want you to listen with an open heart. Number one, excuses. Please write it quickly and look up because I want to talk about it excuses this is the number one reason why many people become failures in life and i don't want you to be victims of that excuses we live in a world where many people many people believe that their success depends on others and not themselves hallelujah there are many angry people around the world in africa in nigeria giving all kinds of ridiculous excuses why God cannot use them excuses why they are drinking and smoking excuses why their lives are the way they are excuses not taking responsibility for their lives let me show you an interesting scripture Proverbs 20 verse 4 Proverbs 20 verse 4 let's hurry up I want this, I want this word to enter your spirit tonight Proverbs 20 verse 4. Anyone? Yes, sir. 20 verse 4. The sluggard will not plow by reason of the cold. He said the sluggard will not plow the land. Why? What is his excuse? He said there is cold. Therefore shall he beg in harvest. Therefore shall he beg in harvest. And have nothing. And have nothing. This is talking about um, fruitfulness, but this applies to every area of life. He said the sluggard we refuse to plow the land. What is his excuse? Help me please. There is cold. There are so many people who have given useless excuses. Why they are the way they are. And in Nigeria we have so many of these people. A lot of youths are angry with the government. And say in America once you are 18 they give you money. And now they are saying if they were helping me my life would have changed. And because of that, you move on being a failure in life. And when they ask you why, this is your excuse. Are you listening to me? There are many people that have given all kinds of excuses. My father is an irresponsible man. If my father was as responsible as other people, do you think I'll be where I am? Now that you know, what are you doing about it? Hallelujah. I used to live a bad life sleeping around now that you know what are you doing about it are you following me now there are so many people it's easy to pass the blame of your life to other people there are many of us still holding our parents fathers mothers and different people my father cursed me that's why i'm not moving oh you are aware 
have you taken any step what are you doing about it are you listening to me please I came from a polygamous family they didn't treat me well it's not a lie but what are you doing about it are you going to allow your destiny to be at the mercy of all kinds of excuses Jesus came from Nazareth hallelujah an innocent child suddenly Herod finds him to kill him he would have gotten angry and said father please take me back look at this nonsense I'm coming to help people who are sinners and you are not even encouraging my journey you want to kill me it's amazing ask many people why they are not advancing in life they will start crying and they will start telling you stories of yesteryears there was a guy when I was four years old the guy abused me and that's the reason why every time I see men or women I, I have an, an uncontrolled desire my brother my sister how many years or decades has that been what are you doing about it are you listening to me someone insulted me and told me i'll never be anything so every time people talk to me and now we have all kinds of psychological teachings that encourage us to live in that realm they say you see mankind is a, our complexity as men there are certain subconscious things that remain and when it comes you are hurt you are emotionally hurt your heart is down look get up and move on with your destiny you know some of us get into situations and we give excuses wait until you hear the story of someone and the things they survive to come out you will see that you have no excuse for solomon told us that there is nothing that has happened in the earth that is happening for the first time are you listening to me say i refuse to give excuses oh I, my father took me to a school where we sat down on stones that's why my jam result i've been suffering now you can imagine this wicked man you drink this thing we sat on stones they used chalk my brother and my sister now that you are responsible for your destiny what have you done by yourself hallelujah when kofi annan was the secretary general of the united nations he made a statement on children's day he said let the children not suffer the consequences of the carelessness of their parents hallelujah when i heard that statement i appreciated it on one side but on another side it didn't make sense to me because it is true that you cannot change other people so the only way to move forward is to change yourself are you listening to me excuses several people give excuses oh my father was this see let me tell you something i'm not saying your excuses are not legitimate they are but for as long as you allow satan to keep bringing that as a reason you will remain there forever there are people in this place who lost their loved ones lost their fathers their mothers when they were growing up there are several people who were under some hostile environments there are several of you who were involved in witchcraft and divination it's not your fault you grew up into it hallelujah my father's mother was a traditional worshiper am i if if i add what i'm doing now with small tradition the day they catch me i say eh, why wouldn't i do it you know you watch people and see the excuses they give on tv they catch a senator looting money and then he brings a flimsy and stupid excuse he says am i the only one they should go and ask what happened to our foreign reserve what has that got to do with what you did now every time every time you are convicted the the thing for people is to look for excuses. you pour water here and ask people who did this what will people say it's not me but what is he not affecting all of us say it's not me that mindset is what i want to remove this night hallelujah for let me tell you something brothers and sisters the great in life are men who have come out of unbelievable excuses are you listening to me all kinds of excuses they have the have, i i read a lot about successful people because the bible says that